In this video, we're going to look at creating an alpha channel and a lower third graphic. So I'm going to start with a completed logo for Waterfront TV. This has been done separately, so I want to move it over to a, uh, a canvas that is sized for video. So I'm just going to actually go in and select it. This is actually probably the easiest way to do this in Illustrator. Uh, so I'm going to go new. I want to go to new document. Again, we're doing this for video. So go to film and video, uh, HDV 1080, and create. I have that copied, so I'm just going to paste my logo here. And a lower third refers to a graphic, usually um, a super that goes behind text, like somebody's name or location. And the lower third refers not to the amount of space it takes up, but to its position on the page. So it's usually down around here somewhere. Illustrator has given me a transparent workplace because this is going to be for video, so it's going to go on top of something. I can place my logo where I want it. Uh, when you're working with video, it's important to pay attention to these guidelines here. Uh, the inner one is the title safe area. So generally, you would try to put all your important text within that. Though gradually, with screens showing more and more of what's going on, you can actually maybe move this over to this bar here, which is the action safe guide. So I have my logo in place. Uh, the next step can be as simple as just drawing a box to put my lower third text on. Now this is the one that's going to be done with the logo. Uh, I'm going to create a new layer and just name my layers here. So this is my logo layer. Layer two is my lower third. And I am just going to maybe drag that underneath. So the lower third, I'm just essentially going to draw a box. And I'm just going to go up here, pick a shape. Uh, I'm going to set them to the, oops. I'm just going to go here and draw this. It's going to be behind the WTV for the most part. And this is maybe a, a little bit too long, maybe it should be a little bit higher, but what I'm going to do now is just go in and change the shape. Black is a classic color for a lower third because if you put white text on it, it the white text is going to show up really well. Uh, what we might do is actually try to match maybe the blue in the wave. So in that case, I would just kind of click there. And you can see here the wave is actually a gradient. So it's created a gradient here. There's nothing wrong with that, that we can work with. And I noticed I forgot to lock my lower third layer before I created it. So it is actually not on the layer I made. I'm just going to grab it here and drag it down to the lower third layer. And essentially, this would be a, a backdrop I could you know, put text on top of. The text you would put on it later on. In this case, we want to import it into a video editor and use it there. One thing I think I will do is maybe make that lower third graphic a little bit transparent. And that is an option if we go to transparency right here. So transparency and just, you know, we're not using a blending mode or anything. We're just kind of lowering that to maybe uh, 60 or 70%, I think. 70% is going to probably work really well. And again, I think black is usually the best color to use here. I'm using blue because it matches the wave and it still allows us to see the WTV waterfront on there. So I'm going to save this as an AI file. And let me just create a new folder for that.
call this lower third. And I'm going to call this lower third logo. Okay, it's created. Uh, click OK. And now I want to create it in a format that I can use with the graphics editor or titler that doesn't support Illustrator files or PSDs. So again, I could do this in a couple of ways. If I do export, export for screens, then uh, you can see here from the options, I could export it as a PNG 8 or a PNG 24. We don't really want to export it as this, the screens it's talking about here just really refer to computer screens, not to video screens. We could export as. And in that case, we have the option of exporting as a Targa or TIFF. And again, let's just export it as a TIFF directly from Illustrator. RGB. and click OK. So we have a TIFF file and we have an Illustrator file. Now if I go to that Illustrator file I've created and open it up in Photoshop, we'll just have a look at it. And I already know it's there's not going to be a alpha channel, which is what you need for transparency but look at what it's done instead. It's cut it down just to that artboard. So we could actually work with this. Um, and here, I'm just going to make that. So here you can see the logo. If we look at channels, again, no alpha channel. Um, here, we've lost all our subtle transparency. So if I selected that background white and made it transparent, again, um, all the transparency that we put in that lower third would be gone. So instead, what we're going to do is create a new file. And again, we're going to go to Film and Video, HD 1080p, Create. So I have my canvas, my new file. I want to place my Illustrator file. And you can see when this comes in, where if we turn off that background, we have some lovely transparency on there. So I'm just going to select the layer and shift it down. I'm using the arrow keys and the shift key. And I want to position it so that it is right here. I'm going to let the logo kind of extend a little bit um, out of the title safe area make it a little bit lower. That looks good. I'm going to turn off the background and now you can see the transparency in that lower third. I can get rid of that background layer. To create an alpha channel, again, you need to go select, load selection, and it will be based on lower third logo transparency, which is what we want. Click OK. And now you need to go select, save selection. Uh, you can give it a name, but if you don't give it a name, it's going to be called alpha anyways, and that's the name we really want to give it. So click OK. And now if we go into channels, you can see there is an alpha channel that if we turn off RGB and just turn that on, you can see it has has the WTV logo and the just the box, the lower third graphic. So perfect. So now we can save this. Now this only has one layer, the lower third logo, because we got rid of the other one. And right now it's showing up as transparent. After you're going to use this with a Tidler or graphics engine, you need to go in and actually flatten this. So uh, here, before I go any further, I'm going to go flatten image. 
and then I am going to go, uh, well, actually, before I flatten the image, let me just go File, um, Save As. I'm going to save it as Lower Third Logo, um, but Photoshop, not, so low, Lower Third Logo, it's a Photoshop file. And now I am going to flatten it. Flatten it will give me a background layer and the transparency will all be in the alpha channel. So it's just flatten image and then save as. And I just want to go to TIFF. Uh, the other option is Targa. Alpha channel selected. That's perfect. Lower third TIFF. I'm just going to call it uh, lower third logo and then alpha because this is the one with the alpha channel and click save. You don't want to click on any of these other things. Image compression, none, that's perfect. If you want, you can change the byte order to an IBM PC. That's the only other thing you might want to change. It's still going to be readable on the Mac, so it's not a really big issue. Click OK. And if we close this, and then reopen it out, reopen the, uh, the TIFF version. Then uh, you can see in the channels, we have the alpha channel, and that is what is going to give us transparency in a video editor or if we're using it with a titler.